Aubrey, what do you have? My buddy. Are you gonna sing to them? Yeah. My car. Hey guys, so I have some updates for you. A lot has changed around our house and we just got back from Tractor Supply. Hey. Aubrey, tell everyone what we got. We got baby chickens. <laughs> so we caved, we got four more chicks. Two should be laying white eggs, which will be nice if we want to color them. And then two of them yeah. should eventually lay really large like brown eggs which is kind of similar to the eggs that we already have um but <laughs> I'm just oh man we're getting so many of these little birds um I do want still like four more you have to buy them in four or more chickens I want green or blue eggs so those are um olive eggers or easter eggers so when we finally you know get around to getting those we'll have a huge flock of birds in our backyard. We were going to inherit more chickens from one of Juan's co-workers, but that's like kind of falling through. It's, it's not happening. So it gives us a little bit more time to build a second coop in our backyard. But while we're in our garage, we also went and picked up this piano over here. So this thing uh, Juan and I put into our Suburban from um, like a free only group on Facebook. This was outside someone's house. And I have to say this thing was heavy. It was prop one guess like four or 500 pounds. We had to pick it up and put it into our Suburban without a ramp. And I got a huge bruise on my arm doing it and other places on my body just because of just like rest, this heavy thing resting on me. So that was a trip. Uh, it's still not tuned. There's like a couple keys that are kind of jammed or whatever, but the kids sometimes have fun coming out here and just hammering on the keys and making music. So one of the other things that has changed recently was we started selling our chicken eggs to some of our like neighbors or people in the neighborhood. I got this cute little wire basket <laughs> from Target in the dollar section, it's five bucks. Part of me was considering like twining the bottom, like weaving twine through the bottom so that it could be like my egg collection basket. But right now it is our money collection basket from selling our eggs so that we have like change to give to our neighbors if they give us a 20 or whatever. But we did sell like six dozen eggs already, which I'm thankful for because if we didn't, I would have six dozen eggs in my fridge right now. And I was just like, I'm just, I'm not eating them quick enough. I could, I hard boil usually at least a dozen, if not like a dozen and a half for Aubrey and I to snack on, but that still would just make a tiny dent in the number of eggs that we've been getting. So it is nice because now it's like, okay, we're paying for our chickens food this way. We're still getting our eggs. We're hopefully going to make enough money to pay off the money that we put into making their coop. So, you know, it's, and the goal is more like, let's break even <laughs> on this adventure in our life. And now that we're getting more chicks and they'll lay eggs, it'll be fun to have more of like a rainbow of colors. Juan actually just called a nearby store and they have the Easter Egger chicks. So those are the ones that lay like blue eggs. So he's going to get some of those since we have our setup now for our new little chickies. And the only other type of bird I do want is one that lays green eggs. And that one is the olive acre. So eventually, hopefully we'll get some of those, but right now, you know, I'm good with however many chicks we currently have. But here are our plans for like our new little coop, our coop design. Hopefully it will fit our new birdies quite well. Let me zoom in here. I cleared out the plants um, that are over in that little section and that is where our new coop is gonna go. It's gonna be more long and skinny rather than deep. And I really do think that'll work out better for me at least regarding like cleaning the coop 
and hopefully getting cleaner non-poopy eggs. And I wanna say that the last like major change has been in our bedroom, which is quite dark. Let me uh, go and open the windows so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can probably see it behind me right now. We added a huge barn door. <laughs> And uh, the reason for this was Juan and I are kind of two different people when it comes to uh, getting ready and whether we're morning or evening people. So if I'm in the bathroom late at night and he's sleeping, what I can do is I can just close this door and turn on the light in our bathroom and the light won't go into our bedroom and disturb Juan. And likewise, in the morning when he comes in here to get ready and I'm still sleeping, he can close this. It's rather quiet. And, you know, not really disturb me with the light. I really love how it looks. I think uh, I was worried it was gonna turn out looking like too orange for our space, but I think it turned out okay. It is funny because now it makes this other door feel like extra teeny tiny but it works for us and while i like even just the aesthetic of a barn door it it's more of the purpose for us it really serves a great purpose and helps both of us sleep better but that is my little like household update video if you guys found this video randomly and are new here my name is emily this is my motherhood channel where i take care of all things mom i live in california in kind of like a urban area. And so I'm very blessed to live kind of on the outskirts of an urban area so I can have chickens and have this kind of, you know, homestead that I've always dreamt of. I am diving deeper into making sourdough and just really enjoying and really trying to embrace being a stay-at-home mom. So if you guys are into that type of content, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.